Welcome back to the Eric Crown Crypto Channel. Wishing you a happy and healthy start to this nice, uh, very snowy Tuesday morning over here from a frigid Helsinki, Finland. And yes, indeed, the weather has reversed yet again. But more importantly, there is a few things to discuss on Bitcoin short-term timeframes. Now that we got our next iteration of whatever war drama is being drummed up, and who knows what else is on the uh, is looming on the horizon. But I was actually postponing uh, making this video a little bit early within this morning because ultimately Bitcoin was essentially just kind of you know playing into the same areas we've been looking at and i didn't really have too much to add on to that so now that we have this next 12-hour closure that is going to uh it is going to i suppose allow for the next road of analysis to evolve and i suppose that we can get into that right now so this video is going to be only focused on the very short and medium term term uh medium term time frames um other than that we will swing back into the crown trading application a little bit later in this analysis for right now i should probably let you know that the premium features are live you can learn more about them in the learn more tab and there you go by the way the biggest question that i get about it, it do you get the jewel light with it yes you do and that's actually going to play into today's analysis so let's swing back on over here and let's follow up on the last like three and a half week uh thread of analysis that we've been kind of working off of of which first there was a big break below forty one thousand dollars that did initiate targets down to the 21 exponential average on the monthly which was thirty five thousand dollars we've got that we were then looking for a bit of a bouncy bounce up to forty one thousand dollars based off of the bear trap that we saw at I think it was 37 yeah probably around $37,000 of which we got that then we increased targets to uh, $45,000 based off the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement on the whole mega macro range there of which do I even have it on this chart I actually don't even have it on this chart believe it or not hey what what is it not doing on this chart anyways <laughs> it should be on this chart I suppose I was working off of it uh, uh, off of a different chart in this case anyways from there we were looking for a pullback specifically between about four Forty-one to forty-one thousand five hundred. Uh, to retain bullish biases with targets up potentially towards $50,000 plus over time. Uh, unfortunately, that was negated or it was essentially invalidated, which then validated specific targets down to the mid $30,000 territory. That's kind of where we're at right now. And this was the little doodle bullshit that I uh, that I drew out um, yesterday or today, or no, sorry, this was like three, four days ago when Bitcoin was back around like 41, 42,000 bucks. Anyways, thus far, we're playing into this region, still kind of hanging around the 618 Fibonacci retracement right here. So I am inclined to say that Bitcoin's still more likely to bounce around this region than not. I feel like this is not the right chart right here, though. Why, why does this look different to me? Okay, that's why. Okay, I see. Anyways, uh, in the short term time frames, you know, I do still think that there's another threat of a move maybe down around our current lows, uh, that being around the 618, which is basically low $37,000. But ultimately, Bitcoin is starting to put in or, or at least formulate potentially many drives of bullish divergence. And I believe that goes all the way up to maybe a four hour or a six hour. The four hour actually already has a, a couple drives in there right there. This doesn't really look super strong me that is why i do say that it could very easily come back down grace somewhere around our current lows um uh the six hour i believe yeah has a little bit right there as well and then maybe even the 12 hour no the 12 hour will not have any unfortunately for the boo laws but but we do see on stochastic momentum oscillators that not only has volatility extremes been hit right here this is an hvp on the 12 hour and by the way same thing on bbwp on the 12 hour which by the way is also below the moving average on this now so i do look at that as a corrective move incoming corrective move within the context of a downtrend does imply a bounce but corrective within the term of a downtrend also means that that bounce is probably just another lower high so going back on over here we do see 12 hour stochastic momentum turning to the upside for the first time in a while that will be remaining to the upside as long as bitcoin is above 37. if we go over here to the six hour uh, what do we see we see it also with upside momentum as long as bitcoin is above 37 so now we see this number coming up many times it's probably gonna be a good invalidation point for the downside to be fair full hour is also going to be upside angled as long as bitcoin is above 37,500. so actually quite close to where we're at right now as bitcoin's just barely trading above that three hours showing 37 yet again so it's come up on many time frames now by hourly uh, up above 36,700, and hourly is is uh, vertical above about 36,650 or so. So again, I, I do think that it's a little bit more likely that Bitcoin probably, you know, might test these lows one more time. Uh, definitely possible right there. But ultimately, I do think that we're looking for a corrective bounce relatively soon, and that, and then we should judge our targets based upon that. So let's go over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a Fibonacci retracement. I think I might have already done it. No, I've not done it on this chart. 
I'm going to put a Fibonacci retracement from our current high to the current low of this of this of this of this, of this move. And I would say that any sort of a move that brings Bitcoin somewhere back around about $40,000, also kind of a psychological number, although I think that psychological numbers are usually mostly bullshit to be honest with you. But I would say that as long as Bitcoin's below $40,000, we are still within the context of a pretty, you know, hefty downtrend with likely prices, you know, further down over time, um, somewhere down around about $35,000 base uh, for the last month and a half or so. Uh, above $40,000, things do start to change a little bit, but I stick with what I've been saying over the past couple days here i'm not willing to call any sort of a major bear trap with again targets up towards fifty thousand dollars probably even more than that over time until bitcoin really starts to trade back above the 618 in this case which is uh, just above forty two thousand dollars for the more conservative people out there i would still say forty five thousand dollars is kind of the area to be watching um but until we get until we get that yeah all bounces are just lower highs and very likely do lead a little bit lower again i always want to kind of differentiate myself from like the moon boys and the doom boys here not just by talking about validations and invalidations but also not talking about like fucking a hundred thousand or like ten thousand right now i just don't think i just don't think that it's relevant nor is it like i mean it's like at this point it, it's too far away for it to be relevant as a reasonable trader it just personal opinion you know maybe i'm wrong about that maybe bitcoin dumps it all out just in one day but uh but fair enough i just personally speaking i think that kind of max down is like 20 23 or twenty five thousand bucks on a, a higher term time frame closing basis anyways in this case right here I actually wanted to peruse the other time frames to see if we hit extremes on any other time frames as well. And then we'll check out the uh, the jewel as well here. But yeah, hourly hit extremes on that last low and did have many drives of bullish evidence come off of that low. Uh, buy hourly hit extremes over here on BBWP. Again, many drives of bullish evidence come off that low as well. Three hour, I, wouldn't say, I, I would not say that those are extremes, but uh, it did get a little bit up there. Four hour, six hour, we've already seen these. And then the 12 hour and the daily uh daily actually still working his way up there too so perhaps that is a point of contingency right there either which way though you know it still kind of falls within the context of this analysis and uh, and if bitcoin does get one more move to the downside how would i essentially invalidate a bounce first ish you know maybe after one more grind out of these lows i do think bitcoin could very easily come back down at 36.5 or so uh, for example um, i would invalidate that with a continuation target down somewhere around you know 35 maybe a little bit below there to 34 500 something like this in this blue box territory right here with even an hourly closure below this region right here uh, which would be specifically about 36 uh, 250, basically the low of the day, actually, uh, of which we got down to 36 350. Um, if we saw something like that, yeah, I'd be looking for another, uh, you know, a little bit more $1,500 plus dump uh, to the low 35s, upper 34s, and then probably another bounce attempt there. I, I still, I don't think that Bitcoin has like the rocket fuel of liquidity to absolutely shatter that base without a greater bounce first. Uh, that is coming in from the global open interest reads. We just didn't see extremes over here uh, comparable to the last, you know, all of, all of the major dumps that we've seen in the past year or year more, uh, year or more in this case, where, um, where to get at least close to like 14 billion. In this case, we only got just above about 12 and a quarter billion. You know, it's decent, but I don't think that it's enough to kind of produce one of those like massive extinction events. On top of that, funny rates over here are at 0% on the hourly feeds. They're ever so slightly positive. So, you know, again, another thing kind of suggesting maybe short term, one more, one more pullback down to our current lows and maybe try for a little bit of a bounce there. But again, bounce targets. Um, I mean, it's, I didn't really, really give a target on that. Actually, let's, let's go over here on a full hour. Uh, I mean, 38, 500 would be pretty, wouldn't be asking for too much. Um, anything below 40,000 bucks is just completely irrelevant though for uh, for general structure. However, uh, Bitcoin's bearish below 40,000 bucks essentially um, on any medium or higher term time frame closing basis. Uh, until then, I do see that the jewel on the four hours is gonna start to swing around for potentially another buy signal. Not to, uh, probably not today, maybe maybe early tomorrow. 12 hour is, <laughs> we haven't even seen it this, this far down since, let's actually just see when we have seen it this far down. In fact, that would be an interesting thing to check out uh let's go back and when did we get down to this level last uh maybe over here so did we get down that nope not even close uh last time we saw this was november 2019 um, which was a low which was a pretty damn good low right here but but on like a major low it did eventually work it worked its way up for about 60 percent from that base to uh, to next major high over the next like a uh, couple months it looks like but for right now you know bitcoin very very short-term time frames looking for one more pullback i do suspect 
And um, then from there, uh, maybe over the next few days into the end of the week, we do see a bit of a bounce emerge. But for right now, another hourly looking like lower high, I suspect. Anyways, um, let's see. What about daily? Daily still has momentum over here. We do see it still nose diving. Again, it's getting into the critical zone now, so it's going to be difficult to kind of keep it down there for too long. But 31, or sorry, 41,400 is the magical number, and buy daily is uh, nose diving below 43. Um, so I do think I do look at those as rather important. Here's what would be kind of a big death sentence to me, however, and probably the indicator of the day, if you will, is going to be five day stochastic momentum. If Bitcoin does close below 36,300, basically the low of the day right now, uh, and this is not closing today, this is closing, oh, this is actually not closing today, it's not closing tomorrow. What about CME? Did CME do it? Uh, see, uh, yeah, CME is closing tonight. Okay, so we could actually use CME, but it does have a slightly different number. Um, CME is showing 35,600 to turn that number down. If we were to see a closure below there, that's going to be uh, devastating. Um, on spot price action, not closing today, not closing tomorrow, clo or yeah, uh, but the day after that. Um, so Friday, I believe it is. Uh, if we were to see any sort of closure below 36,300, at that point, I'd, I'd feel very confident calling for another move down to 29 to 31 thousand uh, dollars in the following weeks. Um, as we'd see five day momentum turn to the downside, reject getting out of the bearish control zone and uh, DMI would still be obviously on the negative side. So in this case right here, you know, it's, uh, it's gonna, gonna require a bit of patience, I imagine, but, um, but ultimately in the next few days here, I expect that we do see resolution on this. Uh, until then, you know, my validation for downside first instead of, you know, maybe one more test of, around our current lows and then maybe a bit of a bouncy bounce uh, would be with a closure on a two hour time frame below 36, let's just call it 36, uh, 250 below there. Yeah, I do look for the next uh, 1500,000 or sorry, 1500 to $2,000 move to the downside somewhere around this area over here and very likely another bounce. Um, until then, I'm kind of looking for something like this in the short term, I suppose. So we'll just end on this little, little LARP line, something like that. And then, well, maybe not that high, <laughs> maybe not that high, but anywhere, you know, anywhere below $40,000 is certainly not asking for too much. And we would expect uh, lower highs to come in somewhere somewhere around 40,000 bucks or so if we're gonna continue with the trending move to the downside. Uh, if Bitcoin starts to trade back above 40, that is not, uh, everything's clear. Above 42-ish or so is where I'd say things start to really uh, change around and we're looking probably at a, uh, uh, a bit of a trap situation right here. But until then, you know, pressure remains to the downside. Uh, everything's pretty much angled to the downside uh, on the higher term time frame. So I think that's a good place for me to leave it off. A little bit of doom, a little bit of uh, glory, and mostly boringness in the short term time frames, which is honestly, uh, well, that is what it is. Anyways, with that said, I want to wish you well and uh, take care. See you in the next one.